Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over there. Got the brand new shirts dropping. Make sure you go to BigHerc916.com, pick you up a shirt, represent, or grab you a bar of soap and wash your ass. Um, man, shit is crazy out there in the NY. And uh, a street brawl, broad daylight, led to one man being murdered. So this is the New York Post. It said, New Yorkers witnessed a surreal sight last week, an alien scene that made residents question the city's future livability. No, not wildlife smoke that turned the sky orange, but a slow motion murder unfolding in a Manhattan crosswalk as rush hour passerby went about their day. Uh, just after 8 a.m. at 7th Ave and 30th Street in the commuting corridor from Penn Station to Chelsea Tech offices, two 30-something men punched each other. As traffic stops, they move into the crosswalk. The two stand a foot or so apart, sparring with each other as if they were an MMA fight in the middle of the avenue. Said one woman walked right by him. She could have brushed him. And uh, they just kept fighting in the middle of the street, man. It's uh, crazy to think that everybody just kept moving along. It was normal. Another woman in medical scrubs and a medical mask crossed right in front of them. They just kept doing their thing. She acted like she didn't really pay any attention to them. Um, she actually said to one of them to knock it off, but they didn't, so she kept it moving. Seconds later, one of the two men is dead, bleeding out in a crosswalk. The other... Nissan Gray, 34, who police say provoked the fight, is charged with murder. The first thing to notice here is the bizarre contradiction in behavior on the part of both men. Graves, assuming our eyes and the police account do not deceive us, is crazy enough to fatally stab someone in broad daylight and full view of plenty of witnesses. But he wasn't crazed enough that he didn't make sure to look out for traffic and even pause his attack to ensure the two women could cross safely. As for the 36 year old victim who is still identified by police, but reportedly was wanted for Baltimore murder of his own. It's not at all to blame the deceased to observe that he appeared to have had several chances to simply run away. And instead he chose to fight. So this guy who was who became a victim was wanted in Baltimore for murder of his own. It said if neither the alleged murder nor his victim could de-escalate the situation despite ample time, opportunity motive, how could New York have prevented this murder? Broad daylight murder, man. Oh man, Frisco, New York. Seattle, Philadelphia, Portland. What do you do, man? What do you do? This is what they vote for. Broad daylight murder. Witnesses everywhere. Who cares? And this is a uh, New York Post. The criminal justice system failed. The alleged killer is barely a year off one year prison sentence incurred when he repeatedly stabbed someone in Manhattan. But New York's supposed to eyes on the streets, safety in crowds failed to prevent this murder as well. So this guy had barely been out a year for stabbing somebody else. Oh man. It says what about bystander de-escalation so promoted by the progressives? The woman in medical scrubs does intervene, but when she fails, she understandably moves on. Nobody else appears to try. 
I mean, what is she going to do? She don't want to get stabbed for nothing. She just trying to go about her day. She told them to stop. They kept going at it. It says, you can't blame them. If you lived anywhere near Midtown over the past three years, you've seen plenty of random street fights, whether shouting or punches, and your instinct is to get out of the way. Intervening or threatening to call 911 could get you hurt. Oh, man. Midtown, man. They're not even hiding this, man. They're not even hiding this. It says, uh, we are constantly told there is nothing to see. Progressives insist crime is low. Never mind that Midtown South, the police precinct in which this murder occurred, has suffered 17 murders since 2020. Before 2020, it took nine full years for Mid-South to record 17 murders. This is the second broad daylight murder in the area this year. In February, alleged drug dealers shot and killed 22-year-old Federice Seabee a few blocks to the north during the afternoon commute. Major felony crime citywide through mid-May with nearing 20-year records, 42% above 2019 levels. But we are we're reprimanded. We should not believe our eyes. Some don't and walk on. Future crime victims, even when an arm blinks away, are just invisible ghosts. Hey, NY, is that what you voted for? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What would you do? Hey, man, a man wielding a knife, another guy going at it. What are you supposed to do? You don't want to jump in there and get stabbed. Knife is a knife wound is actually worse than probably getting shot because organs are, are damaged and all kind of stuff, man. So I don't know what you would do in a situation like this to de-escalate it, but broad daylight crime witnesses that tells you right there, it's out of control. Go to the Herc store at bigherc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average. Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey, man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916, and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee, and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, wash your ass soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So. If you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk.